Hey everyone, in this video, let's take a look at how you can use Otter for iOS. In order to do so, here we are in Otter for iOS. And when you're logged in, this is the screen that you're looking at. You're going to find a few options around here that we can explore. So first off, you're going to have a list of your previous notes. You can see here our previous notes that we've created. And uh, let's go ahead and just explore the interface here. So up at the top here, you can see that we have conversations. We have a calendar that we can set up. And we also have action items assigned to you. So this is where if you have a specific action item that is going to be assigned to you, then it's going to show up here. We can go ahead and hit the plus sign up here to see that we can either add Otter to a live meeting or we can import audio or a video file. So this is uh, nice because if we want to do a transcript, which is what Otter is used for primarily is transcripts, then there's a couple ways of going about this. One is to actually record a transcript. And to do that, we're going to be clicking on this blue button here. If you see here in the menu at the bottom, now we're actually recording our transcript and you can actually see for yourself the transcript is recording. So that's really quite nice. We'll go ahead and click stop on that. And now when we go back to our home page here under conversations, then you're going to see that we have our uh, new note from today. So let's go ahead and click on that. So you could see here that uh, we have summary, we have our transcript, we have our AI chat, and we have our comments. And also here you could see where it says add action item. Let's go ahead and click on that. And this is just going to be something that uh, we can type in here. So let's say, uh, we'll just call this test. And so now we have our action item that we have added. We're going to hit back here on the top left hand corner and then from here we should see action items here at the top and it doesn't look like that uh, is showing up so yeah that uh, is confirmed if somebody else is using otter they can create an action item that is assigned to you so that's what that's for so let's go ahead and um let's head back here see if we can find our action item let's see your conversations going back into our note we have our action item here and what I want to do okay here we go so we've created an action item and then if we click on it then you can see here that we have the option to assign it. So we can click assign. And then from here, we're going to have to search for whoever it is that we want to send it to. And uh, in this case, let's see if we could send it to ourself. There we go. So now we have created the action item and we've assigned it. You can see my uh, icon, my uh, account icon there on the right hand side. So now let's go ahead and head back. Let's go into our action items. And there we go. Now we can see our action item. So you can actually assign an action item to yourself. So that's good to know. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll head back here to our conversations. And let's just take a look here at our options at the bottom. So we have our home, which is where we are right now. We have conversations, calendar, action items. We have our channels. And from here, so we can create a channel. Let's go ahead and create a channel. Okay, so we can uh, create a channel if we want. And we can invite others to our channel. So that's good to know. So we can go ahead and hit create on that. There we go. Now we've created a, uh, a test channel here. We could share a conversation to this channel or tap record below to add a conversation directly. So if we want to add a specific conversation to this channel, invite other people to our channel, then that's what we can do there. So that's really quite nice. And we also have DMs. So we could create a new direct message let's see if we can send one to ourselves doesn't look like it but if you have somebody who is uh, on your otter or an email then you can uh, send that from here so that's really quite nice 
We also have folders that we can create. So we'll go ahead and create a test folder here, create that. And then we can also create uh, conversations to our folders here. So some really nice features here to explore. Let's go ahead and take a look at AI chat. So there we go. This channel is just between Otter and you. Ask anything about your conversation. So here we have Otter chat. We can basically ask whatever questions we might have. So this is really nice to have an AI chat bot that we can have access to. And let's just say I'm doing a test, Oop. a test of Otter. We'll just say hello here. Here we go. So that's really quite nice. So now Otter is responding to us. Okay, so to get started, here's a few key things you can you can try. We can record a conversation. We can import audio or video file. You can use Otter Chat, which is what we're doing right now. We can organize our conversations with creating folders, which we've done as well. We can share a conversation um, with a colleague or to a channel. So that's uh, something we might want to take a look here at the Otter Quick Start Guide. We can customize your experience, ask, add custom vocabulary to improve, improve transcription accuracy. So for terms specific to your work or industry. So that's really good to know. Uh, as you test these features, remember that Otter is designed to help streamline your workflow and increase productivity. If you have any specific questions about using Otter or encounter any issues to your test, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, so we can check our help center. We have some helpful suggestions here that we can uh, go into as well. Let's just take a quick peek here at account. So we have our account settings, refer and earn. And we can see here that we're on the basic plan, which means we get 300 monthly minutes, which is really quite nice, actually. And let's go ahead and hit refer and earn. And we can see we can email an invite. We can share. We can copper a, uh, copy a referral link to send to people. And we can get one month free of ProLite by inviting, inviting friends to Otter. So that's really quite nice as well. So I think that kind of gives you a basic overview of everything that you can do with Otter. It really is uh, quite a useful tool. One thing that I will mention as well with Otter is that um, depending on your situation, like if you're in a meeting and you're using Otter to record the meeting and get a transcript, then you might want to consider getting a better microphone that can pick up uh, the audio. Now, you can just use your phone, and that might be perfectly fine. But if you notice that it's not necessarily picking up all of the words that are being spoken, then that's where you might want to consider getting a specialized mic for situations like that. But I might suggest that um, in many instances, the microphone on your phone might be more than enough to be able to capture the audio. And the fact that you can add specialized vocabulary to the uh, um, to Otter as well, just in case you're using special verbiage for your company, um, for your organization, whatever, then uh, it's, it's nice to know that you can add that so that way you're not necessarily getting mistakes in the transcripts and you don't have to do a lot of editing afterwards. But ultimately, you can see for yourself what Otter is capable of and it really is a fantastic tool, very useful for meetings, taking notes. You can send that to your colleagues so that every way, everyone is on the same page um, and uh, yeah, that gives you an idea of everything that Otter is capable of. That's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. And don't forget to set your notifications for more helpful tips. Also, if you take a look at the link in the description, you will find a link to our link tree. There you will find our top AI tool recommendations, some promotional codes to get started and a link to our X account. We'd uh, love to have you over there. And uh, click on those links to get started. You'd be helping us out and we would greatly appreciate it.